So when we make a cathode material, we take the raw materials like lithium and cobalt and nickel, and we mix them together in solution. We dissolve them in liquid. It's a water-based solution. We operate it at room temperature, atmospheric pressure, and as the materials come in contact with each other, they start to form the desired crystal structures. The, the cobalt and the nickel and the manganese all kind of start locking into layers with lithium intertwined, and that's really where the magic is. We get the lithium mixed in solution before we ever get to the furnace, and that's really the key where the key innovations are. So we have that patent process, uh, that process patented. We patented the materials made with that process, and of course the batteries that use the material that are made with that process. Uh, eventually, uh, when we when we have the finished materials, we begin to evaluate and test them internally. When we're satisfied with the results, we take them out and we start uh, we start testing with third parties. We've attracted the attention of many uh, different players in the both in the automotive sector and the storage sector and the and the lithium ion battery sector. And they're beginning to test some of the really exciting materials we have. We're starting to feel that deal tension out there. We're starting to be uh, distracted uh, by, by many of these folks. And, uh, and we're, we're very excited about where this is going. How many different companies do you send your material to now? So the, the materials are just, really just since the pilot was, uh, has been uh, up and running and validated, uh, really in the last three, three to four months, we've begun sending materials out. In, uh, in volumes to uh, to these players, it's probably we're probably out to uh, half a dozen players, which should be out to probably a dozen and a half by the end of the year. So it's that that in itself, uh, we believe, uh, is going to generate the kind of commercial interest and strategic partnerships uh, that we need for the to take the company to the next level. So these companies that you're sending the material to are um, potential end users. They are potential end users, they're also potential collaborators on next generation batteries. So we're, we're working really on two fronts. One is on, on companies that are looking for a, a manufacturing platform to take, uh, to take uh, our materials to uh, production today to go into, into, into standard lithium ion battery. But we're also working with the automotive sector and, and some of their suppliers on next generation batteries that we'll see in lithium ion batteries in the next, uh, uh, next five to 10 years. So are these companies giving you feedback on the material you're, you're sending them? Well, I guess my question is, what, what is the typical sort of conversation you're having with them as, as you collaborate and this process goes forward? So the, so the way it works is you, you, start with a, you start with a bunch of specs and, and, and data packages that tell them how the materials perform and they come back and say, well, we, we're very interested in testing this stuff. And then we put together a package uh, of material We make sure it all works properly in site, uh, on site and we send it out to them. They'll, they'll run the materials in their battery manufacturing test platform, and it may be a little bit different than ours, and they may request some changes to the material. Some of the material properties may need to change. So there's some back and forth, there's an iterative process that happens. But as we each gain confidence in each other, um, we are both working towards some kind of uh, collaboration or, or uh, a sort of business arrangement to uh, take the material to the next level.